wake up this morning, a day goes by, and Dan Snyder releases a statement. I said on Twitter yesterday that Dan Snyder must have hired the same people as Jim Crane to do his PR. It's the worst possible advice I've ever seen. You have that statement ready. You know the article's coming. That statement goes out the minute that article is posted. The minute. What, are you surprised that they were investigating? You were called 10 times to make a comment. You know very well that three people just walked out your door being fired or resigning. Is it a coinkadink? And the best you can do, Dan Snyder, is this? The behavior described in yesterday's Washington Post article has no place in our franchise or society. He should have had a parenthetical, except for the last 13 years when it had a very significant place in our franchise. This story has strengthened my commitment to setting a new culture and standard for our team. Another mistake. It might, it, I, I'm so angry. Why do I actually give a crap? I don't care if Dan Snyder completely implodes. I really don't. But I want to tell you, nothing personal listeners and viewers, when someone says this story has strengthened my commitment, call out their BS. It shouldn't take a story to strengthen your commitment to a culture of inclusion and lack of harassment. That means you're only changing it because there was a story, which, by the way, is exactly the way Dan Snyder acts because he only changes the name when he was going to lose money. He didn't all of a sudden find God, find religion, find inclusion. People who accept harassment keep accepting it until their pocketbook says they can't any longer. People who are racist, stay racist, are always racist until their pocketbook can't take it anymore. Do I wish education would help people like Dan Snyder? You know very well education's not going to help. It's been going on for over a decade. Is it possible Dan Snyder had no idea what was going on in his organization? Yeah, it's about as likely as Mark Cuban not knowing what was going on. If you've got an absent, you know which owner may not know what's going on? Do you remember the Seattle Mariners used to be owned by a, a Nintendo and by a man who was in Japan and had never been to a Mariners game, never been to the front office? That guy may not know. I spent 18 years in the front office. There's not one thing I didn't know. And if I didn't know it, then I'm not going to tell you I didn't know it because it's my job to know it. And if something major had happened and a major issue, I'm the one out front talking about it, taking the blame. Minute one. This story strengthened my commitment to setting a new culture, blah, blah, blah. And then he said, comma, a process that began with the hiring of Coach Rivera earlier this year. What? Let me get this straight. You knew that there was sexual harassment going on. You knew that you had a racist name and that you were promulgating racism. But you figured you're going to start the process of making it better by hiring Ron Rivera. Is anyone buying what you're selling? Is one person who is listening to nothing personal right now buying what you're saying? One person reading your statement? No process that began with the hiring of coach Rivera. I guess that means that all the other coaches you hired over the years, we didn't want to start the process because those coaches liked the sexual harassment. I know they didn't. Then he goes on to say, Beth, Beth Wilkinson, that's the woman who was hired of the law firm who's going to do this major investigation. I'm going to tell you how that investigation goes, by the way. Beth Wilkinson and her firm are empowered to do a full, unbiased investigation and make any and all requisite recommendations. Who's paying Beth Wilkinson? Do you think that Dan Snyder has a right of first look on the report? Do you think that Dan Snyder, that's like when baseball did the blue ribbon panel. Do you remember the blue ribbon report, which named the people doing steroids? And it was an independent review of steroids and how to make things better. This was after McGuire. It came out in 2000, right when I first got in the game. You think that Major League Baseball had nothing to do with the writing of that report? Didn't see that report before it was made public? Give me a break. Of course they did, no matter what they say. If you want to know something that's not totally independent, follow the money. Who's paying Beth Wilkinson? 
Upon completion of her work, Dan Snyder's statement continued, we will institute new policies and procedures and strengthen our human resources infrastructure to not only avoid these issues in the future, but most importantly, it's but also, when you say not only, it's but also, but most importantly, create a team culture that is respectful and inclusive of all. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for creating that. I think that's really good that you're going to do that. So you're going to institute new policies. Does that mean that you didn't used to have policies? You have no sexual harassment policies? So there were no rules against sexual harassment. Or you had no way for people to report sexual harassment because in the article, all the women on record say, why would I report something when I know that I'm simply going to get fired, let go, or continue to be made fun of? And my, my dream is to be in the NFL, my shattered dream. We've had a lot of bad statements on nothing personal. This is about to hit the Mount Rushmore. We're going to create a team culture that's respectful. Okay. I think we should wait. Let's wait because what's going to happen is the new name will be announced. Then they'll let some time pass. They're going to hire some extra women. I promise you that's next. They're going to hire some more minority people in different positions. Then they're going to have people speaking on behalf of the Redskins. And what, uh, sorry, I just said it again. On behalf of the Washington, we don't have a names. Ron Rivera is going to stand there after a 6-10 and 10 season and say everything is better. We have cut out the bad apples. Did they get rid of the staircase? Read the article. There's a staircase, like an animal house. Remember John Belushi and the bleachers? Although it's every, any one of 20 movies where the guy's under the bleachers looking up the girl's skirt. Apparently in the Redskins front office, there's a spiral staircase. And if you stand at a certain place and you look up, the women knew not to stand there because there were people staring up their skirt. I mean, can you imagine? I, I, it literally is beyond comprehension. Beyond comprehension. So what's the NFL going to do? Because there's a lot of talk that this could be it for Dan Snyder. It's going to have to sell. Well, it's not going to happen. My way to see is that Dan Snyder will not be forced to sell the team. He will be punished. A fine, maybe a loss of a draft pick. So this is a bonus wait to see. Wait to see one, this will not force him to sell. Wait to see two, he will be reprimanded by, by baseball, by football, with a fine and potentially a loss of a draft pick. The NFL came out with a statement. NFL's writing a lot of statements. That's all people do, I'm noticing. Thank God. It's good for nothing personal. These matters, as reported, are serious, the NFL said, disturbing and contrary to the NFL's values. Everyone in the NFL has the right to work in an environment free from any and all forms of harassment. Washington has engaged outside counsel to conduct a thorough investigation into these allegations, and the club has pledged that it will give its full cooperation to the investigator, and we expect the club and all employees to do so. We will meet with the attorneys upon the conclusion and take any action based on the findings. That is a weak statement. And the reason that's a weak statement is the NFL should have come out immediately and in more than one state sentence where they say, as reported, they're serious, disturbing, and contrary to the NFL values. That's not giving enough credibility or credence to the women who were in this article. There's no investigation about whether or not this didn't happen. What Beth Wilkinson has been hired to do is to fix the organization going forward. They're not investigating what went on in the past. There's text messages. There are screenshots of text messages that are damning evidence. It's not good enough what the NFL is doing. But by the way, they will have to take action. The Washington, we don't got a names and Dan Snyder, you've got a serious problem. You've been doing some serious rope-a-dope and there is no end in sight. Good luck, Dan. See you soon on Nothing Personal.